Ooh, I've been waiting for this summon session. Ooh, another epic here? Oh, What's some... going on, everybody? So today we have some summons to complete. So, so excited for this. But before we jump into that, because we have a ton of summons, we actually have 46 summons. We're going to be summoning all of them. Um, I've been waiting for this moment since day one of the account. This is basically every single ancient shard I've ever saved up minus 12, I believe. Or maybe it was 11. Um, and in those 11 or 12, I summoned a Drekstar. So, you know, we've gotten pretty lucky so far. Um, we also have the Winter's Path event. I'm not exactly sure why there's so much heavy criticism for this and why people are like, oh, it's a bad event and all this. It's like, it's, it's so trash and, you know, they're trying to drain our shards. Like, I don't get that sentiment. It's an event. If you want to summon for the 2x, you get free extra rewards. If you want to get artifacts, you get extra rewards. I think it's a good event. If the argument is that, oh, this could be so much better, I completely understand that argument but for those of people that are out there saying this is a bad event and uh, they're just trying to milk our money i mean just don't spend uh, you don't know uh that's kind of my perspective on this for me i'm very excited for this because i'm able to get another epic book and presumably another legendary book from this because you actually get points from summoning you can see here i'm gonna get 180 points from ancient shards which should put me um around that like 8k point mark roughly um on these ancient shards which will get me significantly further down the tree and uh, i'm going to be going down here which i should be able to pick up almost everything except for the legendary book and after i'll just need to do some artifact and accessory grind for that legendary book which will be really really nice for our account because I still have to book out Ultimate Death Knight. I still have to book out um, Drekstar. So we still have a lot of things to book out. And, you know, who knows? This might give us um, something as well from our Ancient Shard pulls. Very, very excited about this. As for rares, there's a few that I would like to see. Um, you know, I I'm really looking for something like Apothecary. To be honest, that's really the only one I'm really looking forward to in terms of rares. Um, obviously, any fusion type characters. Uh, or any sacred order dupes uh, or any undead horde dupes for my faction guardians. So for example, if I got, you know, quite a few sorceresses or, or you know, quite a few banshees, I can actually drop them in my faction guardians over here um, to progress my frozen banshee, which I will be using definitely. You know, 10% HP, 10% of defense, seven accuracy, three speed. That's not, you know, negligible. That's that's actually a meaningful amount of, of stats. So I'd love to see all of those be filled epics there's so many on the list i don't even want to start naming it same with legendaries if we get a legendary i mean there's so many different legendaries in the game that i'd be happy with but let's not waste any more time let's start off with a couple single pulls we'll go three single um 10 pull 10 pull maybe more three singles and then uh finish it off here Ooh, uh i'm already getting uh getting excited here guys starting off with a sacred order we have a templar um definitely someone that uh that we're we can get from the campaign, so not particularly exciting. Berserker, another campaign farmable. Nothing nothing too exciting there. Another rare here, and we got Odachi, another Shadowkin rare. Actually kind of solid, we have the block debuffs, as well as the increased defense, and then the shield um, on this champion. A little bit of AoE, a little bit of provoke on basic. Actually kind of okay um, for factions, but let's do our 10 pull here. Oh my goodness, I could single pull all my way through this. Please don't full rare us. Oh, Frozen Banshee again. Deathless is our first epic, and that's pretty brutal, honestly, guys. Um, wow, uh, that's that's honestly a pretty brutal dead pull. You know, nothing too great for us. We have a Frozen Banshee here, which I've already fully booked out. Um, so she will go into the Faction Guardians. Um, so I guess that's something to consider. Deathless, an epic here. Um, from what I remember about her, she's pretty or you have an att attack all enemies always be critical there's two more dead allies damage increases according to the number of dead allies um yeah i mean provoke we have a basic um we have a randomized version you know potentially um it's gonna put decreased defense if one or more allies are dead like i mean i just don't see really where you might use her and get value out of this character unless you might be running your faction um faction i guess potentially i don't know oof Brutal first temple. Brutal first temple. Let's go for a second one, guys. Um, maybe I'll single the rest of these, but we're going to go with two temples. Uh, Farsalis. I'm not sure how, if that's how you say it. I don't remember what this guy does, to be honest. And all the other ones are rare. So we're starting off pretty 
brutal actually, but we have a chance to provoke, we have a decreased attack if they're under fear or true fear, we have an AoE heal reduction, we have a shield on allies and a weak version of strengthen, and then um, a little bit of fear mechanics here. Could be an interesting faction character, I don't think this is a good enough version of the skill to be used anywhere currently in my main comps. Um, so to me right now, he is just fodder. I mean, I'm going to be keeping him, obviously, I'm going to keep all my epics. But to me, he's basically fodder um, for the purposes of, you know, using anyone. We did get two Grinners, which is actually an Undead Horde combo. Um, that's actually kind of exciting. We also got a Sorcerer, which is another Undead Horde. So that's actually quite interesting as well. Let's move over. Let's do a couple single pulls. Ooh, I've been waiting for this summon session. Ooh, another epic here. Oh, we got a Stagnite. <laughs> No way! Oh my goodness! No way, man! Oh, you guys don't understand. I have never had a stagnite on any of my accounts ever. Um, wow, guys! Wow! Um, wow! Um, we already have a decrease attack, decrease defense character. Um, so you know he's not like this absolutely massively game-changing character but he is a game-changing character because he's a spirit affinity which is perfect because i have a magic affinity decrease attack decrease defense so he's actually someone that i'd be definitely willing to build out for sure and fully book out for sure so that i could use both my decrease attack and decrease defense characters um in their different affinities so definitely someone that i'm very excited about Definitely not going to play, complain about a stag knight. Definitely someone that's going to be really good in factions. Really good in a lot of different content pieces. He is a lot better than Duck. Simply for the decreased speed on basic. For things like Fire Knight. Um, so I'm very excited about that. And of course he's just the affinity that is perfectly matched with my duck so i'm very happy if i were to get another you know decreased defense decrease attack character i mean it's gotta be stagnite right it's gotta be stagnite for sure so definitely a, an interesting one but we are stacked up on decreased attack decreased defense characters so definitely something uh so we all have to think about let's keep moving on though that is super exciting i'm very excited about that so already i'm feeling much better about this one um let's do a couple more single a uh, couple more single pulls here see if we get anything um looks like we got a beast wrestler let's do single pulls for the next 10 maybe we wrap it up with 10 pulls see what we actually get uh here again i'm looking for an apothecary is kind of the rare prosecutor here I, I don't know if i've seen this one aoe decrease speed decrease accuracy or increase accuracy or attacking and then heal reduction okay kind of interesting potentially could be used for like the spirit key because actually I, I kind of need some characters for that um itinerant this guy's i've never seen before um, 50% chance to leech if it's critical. Small version of decreased speed and increased speed on himself. Destroys the enemy's max issue at 30% of the damage. Look if this attack is critical. Mm, this guy just seems like a, a bad character. <laughs> um, yeah. Keep going here. Another epic. Another far solace. You're kidding me. I can't believe I got a dupe epic. Are you kidding me? What the heck? I got a dupe epic and I have like so little epics in the entire game. Are you kidding me? If you just scroll through here, guys, I mean, look, all these epics are, are available. All of these epics are available. All of these ones. I mean, are you kidding me? Getting a dupe epic at this stage is so unlucky. That is so unlucky. Wow. Keep going here, I guess. Um, Avenger. Avenger, come on. Let's give us, give us, I would, I like to get um, another Frozen Banshee. Wow, we are just absolutely unloading these things on us now. I'm really looking for that Apothecary. I would like to see at least one more Epic at the end of this, you know, summon session. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. You know, obviously a Legendary would be really cool. I don't think we'll get one, but you know, obviously that'd be really cool. Metal Shaper, another rare um, that uh, is kind of interesting. He has that uh, three or two turn cooldown shield, which could be interesting. Continuing onwards. Let's see it. Let's see it. Ooh, we have a Conqueror. Uh, ooh, another epic. Okay. Ooh, Galcut. <laughs> we have a bomb character. Definitely someone. That uh, I am not interested in building out. We have a decreased defense on basic with a pretty low chance. And um, we have a attacks all enemies one by one in a random order. Pretty okay damage, I guess. I don't remember the multiplier on this. 
Um, but then we have attacks all enemies and bomb that detonates. So a bomb character that I'm probably not going to be building for a very long time, to be honest, if, if ever. <laughs> um, let's get it going. Come on, we can get one more. We'll go on to finish off with single pulls. We've gotten some decent luck here with a lot of epics pulled. And ooh, that, that little pause... That little pause, guys, that, that gave my heart racing. That made my heart race. Gaelic here, um, orc starter. Probably not someone I'd build, to be honest. Um, I guess for the way down the line in Doom Tower. Okay, we got a Banshee. I'd love to see a Sorceress or another Banshee to get another rare dupe in our faction Guardians. That would be something that I'd be pretty excited about. Slither Brutes, okay. Nothing super crazy here <laughs> um door mask okay we have uh i think this guy's available in the campaign on stage 12. so we have flinger we have five shards left come on there's gotta be one more epic in here that's that's what i'm that's what i'm hoping for and if we do we've been pretty lucky i, I don't actually remember how many epics we've got i think it's six at this point oh, we got another epic oh uh aina here Oh man, so we have a we have an attack on enemy with guaranteed weaken. We have a little bit of a chance of extra turning, and then we have attacks on enemy 80% chance up to 100% chance um, to decrease defense. So interesting character. You know, you you look at her and be like, you know, maybe she's good for for clan boss for the decreased defense and the weaken um, because it's a weaken for three turns, which means she can permanently apply a weaken. The problem that this has is it also decreased defense for three turns. The problem that this character has is that the extra turn kind of ruins any speed tuning that she might be interested in. Um, and I think that kind of screws her over. Interesting character, but probably not someone I'd be building anytime soon, to be honest, because I have Aethel for them. And it's on basic, so, you know, probably not someone I'd be using. Solaris. Yeah, stun. Is this the new rare? I think this is a new rare. Oh, man. <sighs> One shard left here. Pretty, uh, pretty average summons in terms of value, but we got a lot of epics, so I can't really complain. Um, nice. Okay, so we're going to finish it off there. Let me just pop back over. So we have 8,500 points. Um, you know, you might want to go for the energy, but actually the value for the gems here is actually a little bit better. So we're going to go down this way. We're going to go down the middle, down the left-hand side. We're going to see how far we can get. We got a little bit of gems here. And looks like we're not going to be able to get the epic book quite yet. So we still need about, eh, it looks like 12k points. Um, we did get a few gems here. Maybe I can just jump over to the shop for the video here and pick up a couple of extra summons. Um, no, it's 270 gems. I couldn't remember how much it was because I have not bought any summons on this account for gems yet. Let me just jump into our collection here and see what our haul was. So we got six total epics. Am I correct on that? Six total epics. Quite a few rares. Um, so six total epics. Deathless, uh, pretty mediocre, right? Pretty mediocre. Uh, Galcut, a little bit of a mediocre bomb character. Far Solace, someone that could be interesting with the shield and strength. And this guy's probably one of my most liked characters that are one of the more underrated characters, I think, in terms of ep epics. I've always felt like I could maybe get a use out of him, um, but he always ends up sitting in the vault. Um, but since I have two of them, you know, he could be used for faction guardians, I guess, for the Knight's Revenant. If I ever pull something like a skull. <laughs> um, Aina, interesting character. You know, the three turn defense down and the three turn weaken is interesting. But, uh, the only place that comes to mind that I really want that type of kit is clan boss. And then the extra turn here. If this was like, um, I don't know, like a 20% chance of placing a poison. I would actually be like, oh, interesting. Maybe I'd use her for clan boss to slaughter in for someone like Aethel for the guaranteed decreased defense and the guaranteed weaken all the time uh, with the poisons on basic, you know, potentially or something like that. Uh, but even then, you know, be suspicious. And then, of course, the, you know, king of summons today, the Stagnite. Now, this guy has basically recovered any sort of problems I might have had with the summon session. Six epics out of 40, 42 shards. Um, let me just check the rates here. I believe it's, yeah, 16% chance. So um, um, if we were to just go ahead and put in 42 shards here, the calculator, and we were to multiply that by 0.6, we should have gotten 6.72. So we were actually a little bit below rate in terms of how many epics that we've summoned today. Um, 
We were a little bit closer to seven than we were to six uh, in terms of the statistics. So not getting seven is, you know, kind of sad. Um, but, but, you know, that doesn't mean that we were necessarily super below, below rate. It was pretty average to be fair. And we did get the stag night. In terms of epic quality, I feel like, um, I feel like we did, how would I rate this? I mean, if I'm looking through here, there's actually quite a few kind of mediocre to poor epics, right? Like if out of this character, group of characters, who would I be excited to summon? It'd be Verges, Tayrell, Royal Guard, maybe Skiramis. Um, uh, let me see here, Sacred Order, you know, out of this group. I mean, it's Mordecai, Phoenix, Deacon. Uh, I actually don't know what some of these characters do, to be honest. Carlina, decrease attack on AOE, decrease the duration of debuff, strengthen. Eh, maybe. I'm looking through Barbarians. Who would I be excited about? I'd be excited about uh, Farrakhan. I'd be excited about... Maybe... Wotite? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe the heal is good enough. Uh, I actually don't remember all the epics, by the way, guys. Or I don't know all the new ones. So if I'm missing someone out of the ones that I should be excited about, I'm, I apologize. Um, Shatterbones, Skull Crusher, Ugo, all of which I'd be pretty excited about. Lizardman, we have Venomage, we have Jareg, uh, both of those would be kind of exciting. We have Orcs, I'd be excited for. Honestly, even Ultimate Gaelic for someone like um, Spider later on in AoE HP Burn is, you know, solid, even though he's not the best. Um, Zargala would be okay. Um, Brask. Sandlash Survivor. Oh man, I'm looking through this and, and there's quite a few of them, but I think that Achak, um, Magnar. Oh man, I want a Magnar so bad. That's actually someone alert um, that I'd be really interested in getting. I don't know. I feel like we got, I would say, a little bit below average luck in terms of quality of epics along with, you know, amount of epics. Stag Knight is hard to argue though. I mean, he is arguably one of the best. The problem is, is when you look at my account, right? What do I need? I kind of need a good support, a good healer support, or like a good, a really, really good, um, like AOE poisoner or something like that, potentially. Honestly, the support is what I'd be really looking forward to, right? If I had a support, I could easily swap out like Kunoichi or Aethel and drop the support in there, maybe with a revive. Um, and I'd be totally fine. I already have Duck completely built out with a one-star blessing, booked out as well. I have the decreased attack, the decreased defense. So having a Stag Knight, what it really does is just amplify the other affinities that I can't run, run Duck on. The problem with that is like, if I'm looking at the dungeons that I'm running right now, Dragon is my top priority. And, you know, right now, stage 19 is kind of a bottleneck because a lot of my characters are Force Mark. Once I get to Magic Mark, Stag Knight's actually just going to be pretty bad compared to someone like Duck. Uh, but then, you know, you talk about Fire Knight and it's like stage 20, he's the absolute perfect affinity for and he's better than Duck. So, you know, maybe when I get to Fire Knight, I'll be really appreciating him. And then honestly, for Spider's Den, um, maybe? <laughs> Maybe he's um he he's better because he can decrease the speed. So and if I stagger the decrease of defense, decrease attack, I can almost have permanent stats up for them, which could be interesting. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm definitely excited about stag deck, don't get me wrong. But honestly, it might be a few days maybe a couple of weeks before i actually get to building stag Knight. as for everyone else they are definitely going to the vault for right now um i'm not going to be using any of these characters um but i forgot to mention actually that we do want to put in our faction guardians before i forget um and so we're going to go ahead and just do the undead hordes rares so we're going to go boom boom there's going to be two there and then we're going to go ahead and put two rares of the grinners here that's 10 percent attack 10 percent hp that's actually kind of meaningful from the faction guardians um i unfortunately I don't have another set of frozen banshees it might be worth just keeping out all of our undead hordes um at the moment so i'm going to keep that so i'm going to keep the undead hordes um on me right now so we're going to pull these into the reserve vault both of these and then any other character that I might be missing in terms of Faction Guardians. Um, I think, where's Forsalus? He's in the Night Revenant, right? Yeah, so we're going to drop both of these guys in the Night Revs. 
uh, ult uh, epic faction. And then I've been only looking for like sacred order rares, right? We did get two witnesses, I guess. Um, is, she a, is she a fusible or is she a fusion character? No, so I just saved her. I don't know why I saved her, but I guess it's, I'm glad I did because we can actually give Aethel an initial 10% HP. And if I look here, what does that give us? Additional 1300 HP, not bad. You know, that's something. Um, it's something. <laughs> Uh, I guess I can look for Ogryn Tribes because that's another rare that I'd be using. Let me just see here. Where's Ogryn Tribes? Do I have any rares? Oh, I do. I have two Rock Tooth, which I will be putting in the Faction Guardians as well. So, you know, a couple of little bonuses here for my characters, which I will definitely take. And I'm pretty excited about. Um, I'm definitely going to be moving some of these guys to the Reserve Vault because I, I think what I'm going to do is keep like the Faction Guardian characters in the Reserve Vault. Um, and then in the Master Vault, I keep the characters that I might use every occasional um, time. Um, I'll keep Shinoru here in the middle. So we'll move these guys to the Reserve Vault, move these guys to the Reserve Vault, and uh, I will move these guys to collection. Very nice. And is there anyone else? Very nice. We'll put these two in the reserve vault as well. So overall, not a bad haul. I'll be honest. Um, I'm, I'm honestly pretty happy with that overall. Definitely not someone or not something to complain about too much. And uh, I'm still missing, still missing that one Sylvan Watchers epic or rare, guys. If I get a Sylvan Watchers rare, I can get another legendary book. That's the only thing that's holding me back. I have to upgrade a Force Champion to six star, um, which isn't actually that hard to do because I can always just pick, you know, like Alika or War Maiden or Shaman, and I can just bang that out real quick to just get my six star book or my legendary book, which I happen to have some. So we're gonna go ahead and use these at the final portion of this video. I still am looking forward to booking out Ultimate Death Knight, and we did get the cooldown. We still have one more book to go because I do want to get that cooldown on this AOE decrease attack. I think that's kind of worth it. We did get that shield cooldown done, which is something nice for us to have. And I will be saving my epic books going forward because, well, I have a stag knight now. And I want both his A1 and his A2 completely maxed out when I decide to use him. So he does have that, you know, 55% chance with the sniper mastery and then the 100% chance to go ahead and decrease all that speed, attack, and defense. So not a bad haul. I got one of the best epics in the game, so I can't be super mad about that. I just wish I got something a little bit more exciting is the only thing I'll say. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This was the first real summon session on the account. Any other time I've done summons, it's been like one or two. And um, I'm still working through like gear removal. I wanted to summon before I did any gear removal because, you know, maybe I summoned someone insane, I'm like a legendary, I don't know. You know, I got myself like a Brock gear. I got myself something crazy like that. Um, and I wanted to make sure before I started re-gearing everyone and, and building out my clan boss comp, I will be summoning my Void Shards tomorrow because there is a 2x chance for Legendaries, I think, and Epics. And the wording was a little bit weird. If it's not for Epics and Legendaries, I won't summon, but if it is, I will summon. So stay tuned for that. And also stay tuned for the complete regearing of my account because I will be doing that tonight. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.